Good day, YouTube. It is New Year's Eve Day 2018, and we're going to get into some other projects on the 1969 140H1 John Deere Garden Tractor. Well, um, got this thing running a day or two ago. Ran it, uh, oh, probably got more than an hour running it yesterday just on uh, kind of bottle feeding the fuel. Uh, ran it long enough to get the oil changed in it and then uh, ran it some more and was uh, kind of watching the oil color um, see if the new oil was getting black real soon meaning though you know the engine was pretty dirty but um, I think the oil's uh, still looking pretty good after running it maybe another 20 minutes or so on new oil so I think the engine is fairly clean inside but the wiring on this thing is not very good in fact it's a fire hazard i would say even like the uh, main wire that leaves the solenoid where the battery ties in that goes into uh, it's actually headed to the amp meter and then from the amp meter to the ignition switch uh, it's just covered in black tape and bare wire it's pretty hideous so uh I think one wire at a time, we're going to have to dig into this thing and just replace everything. Um, voltage regulator wiring, pretty bad. Even the wire going to the headlights, pretty bad. So, going to have to take some switches out of this thing. Uh, just kind of take it a wire at a time and uh, replace as needed. Will we completely rewire it? Well, if we have to, but, you know, if it isn't broke, we don't fix it. Um... And we'll get those uh, cables out of there for uh, the choke and the throttle. Because they're uh, this is pretty much a one-speed tractor for the moment. I don't think that's doing any good. So um, we'll get those out of there and get them soaking and get them freed up or something. That'd be good. Um, that is the most petrified shifter ball I've ever seen. Not sure what it used to look like, but it doesn't look anything like what it's supposed to. So again, uh, because testing battery with batteries is uh, such a bad idea, remember the rules that I put in place. We test electrical systems with a battery charger, preferably a small one, three, four, five amp type battery charger, not large ones, because uh, if you actually short something to ground, that will trip. If you use a battery, She's going to burn to the ground. So we won't do that. So uh, going to get into wiring, ignition wiring, the power wiring, the everything, get everything replaced as needed. And then we'll dig into getting the fuel tank mounted. Oh, and before we get too crazy, this has a full turn of play. So, uh, and the 210 doesn't move at all. So I think I'm going to become an expert in rebuilding these steering gears. And uh, it looks like we're going to have to get some stuff out of the way to get that steering column out. So uh, I might get a battery back in this thing and get the wiring sorted out. Only to take it back out and sort out the steering at some point. Because um, it would be nice if it uh, did steer. Again, uh, tires... This tire is here for this wheel, but I'm going to put tubes in them, and tubes are not here. I haven't bought rear tires for this yet. However, what's going on is are the tires I used to get the H3 home. Then I'll have these wheels, or I'll clean them up, or maybe I'll have them sandblasted, powder coated, and put two new tires on them. Everything that's good or accessory that I, that I only have one of is going on the H3, and then this will get everything that's left over. Not sure the future of this one, but uh, you know we're just get gonna get it running and operating and so forth, and then we'll decide whether we keep it or pass it on to a new owner. So uh, it's just fun to do the projects, and that's what we're doing. So getting into the wiring, I'll check back with you when I got something fun to show you. So one of the first things we do is uh, check that solenoid, see if it works. She's not a working. Sparky, sparky. Not working. So let's replace that. Um, you know, I don't have one exactly like that, but I have this one. 
um, handy. Um, if I ground it somehow, like that, and we test this one, we know it works. So, let's get that one off of there. We'll bolt this one on there one day if I if someone ever wants to change that out or change that one back out to one that like it came with they can but I'm sort of into uh let's make it work and why spend the money if they already have parts probably pick that up at a yard sale for a buck or something so um been just getting the rusty bolts off of that thing and get it swapped out well, we are fast forward to New Year's Day. Happy 2019, everybody. Um, we got the solenoid mounted. I ran to the uh, auto parts store and got some uh, battery cables. So we got you know negative cable, positive cable, etc. I've gotten through a lot of the wiring. Um, running a holding harness to the engine. It'll have the uh, voltage regulator stuff in it as well as the ignition. I may add the headlight wire to it, which is right now was run kind of open, but I could run it underneath and then come up. I think it was designed to run across here. It actually went through this little bracket, I think, to the headlight. And we may run it that way too, I'm still deciding. Right here in the dash was an indicator for the PTO, which got to switch functioning. I haven't checked its uh, electric ability yet. Um, and uh, it had seen better days. I got it out and apart. That's the... It's kind of designed to tell you that the PTO is working, whether you have a mower on it or tiller or whatever. So the um, spring seems okay. There's no wire coming out of it. This is the contact for the lamp. It had a red colored lamp in it. I hit my light bulb hoard. I don't have one. This is as close as I have, so it'll be a clear light. Be all right. It's a little smaller bulb too, so it shouldn't be blinding. So I'm gonna clean all this up. Um, get a wire soldered onto there. Um, spring's okay. And get a pigtail out of here so we can uh, hook it back up. It hooks to this is the wiring diagram. This is the plug for the PTO switch. Um, doesn't show complete, but this is a little plug that comes out of this plug here that would have went to this PTO light. I think it was an accessory. Didn't come on all of them. Um, so this would be that plug right here. So I'll put a, a male spade on it. And this plugs into the PTO switch here. The light is right next to it. So just a short jumper, we'll have that done. I go from there. This also has the uh, cigarette lighter plug on it too, so. Not that we uh, smoke and mow, but, or smoke at all. But it was part of it, so we're gonna hook it back up. So I'll continue. Um, getting everything done we got from the battery side through the amp meter around there's supposed to be a circuit breaker in line with that somewhere there wasn't but there will be or put a fuse in it or something um, and we'll go forward so we probably got a couple hours of messing around with wiring and getting all the ignition side hooked up before we uh, put the battery tray back in put the battery in and start testing we'll test it with battery charger first but uh, there uh, is just a few things left to do that were all burned up. This is the small pile on the floor of burned up wires. <laughs> we're just doing them one at a time. We'll get them all done. We'll uh, start taping the harnesses together, getting rid of the tie wraps, if you will. Um, get them all taped up to protect them and keep them out of harm's way. We'll catch you back here in a little bit. All right, let's put this light back together. I got a wire soldered on here, put a little shrink tube on the end, hopefully to make it stronger, because <laughs> uh, there wasn't much to get a hold of there solder-wise. Slide the spring on, let's thread it in.
hope the shrink tube fits. Yeah, just gotta line the spring up. Center the spring. They say it was 27 degrees outside, so the shop's pretty cold. I got a couple heaters going, but all right. Put the bulb in. Should be good. This is the spring for this, and uh, this has to come back apart, put it in the dash. There's a little dimple right there. We'll just line that up and give it a little twist. Let's try the other side. I should go. They're both the same depth, it appears. Why won't that go? Oh, you know why? The bulb that I chose is too tall. It's hitting the lens. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find a different bulb in my stash. Put you on hold. Hey, look what I found. That's an LED. Woohoo! Had a whole bunch of them. Forgot I had them. All right, that was good. Found something way cooler. Way cooler. LED. <laughs> 69 John Deere. Now then, oh yeah. Let's go over here and test it out. Battery charger leads here. I also have a lot of stuff in my way. So, ground the case. Look at that. We got it. We got it. It's going to work. Alright, we'll put her back in the dashboard and move on to the next little issue. All right, I'll take you through real quick what I got going on here, um, kind of a recap. Of course, we changed out the starter solenoid to something different, whatever I had on the shelf. Um, got new uh, start circuit coming back to ignition switch through the uh, PTO switch as it's intended and then the safety switch which is stuck in the inside position maybe it'll free up maybe we'll have to replace it um i didn't replace every wire replaced every wire that was bad um about ready to start bundling things up and then we'll put the battery tray back in and then we'll get everything tied in on the ignition side on that side after we get it uh, safely routed out of this area so we we'll get it away from things so uh ignition switch on you can see I put a voltmeter in the cigarette lighter plug. We just have a battery charger on this thing. I'm not sure what how good the connection is. I tried to clean that cigarette lighter plug up. Right now it says 10.4. Who knows? Now it says 13.4. Take a break. Okay, so uh, also PTO. We did rebuild that light, remember? It's a little bit bright on the camera, but it's just an indicator for uh, letting you know that the PTO is engaged. So we got that thing working. Um, this cable still is froze, so I'll have to pull it. Um, we still have steering gear issues. You see it moves, it doesn't steer. So we're going to have to pull that. So battery's going in uh, anyway. Um, at least for a temporary situation. I might have to pull it and 
get that steering gear out of there eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape all this stuff up. And then I'll let you see. Well, this camera's having fun focusing today, isn't it? Focus. Okay, checking back with you. Well, I've put a pretty good day in on the 1969-140. Um, got the wiring all done. Um, and then testing. Actually, one of the headlights came on for a little while, then it burned out. So, uh, no headlights, but the wire going to them is okay. Um, these headlights are probably coming out going into the H3 anyway. And might get something different, possibly something custom. So I found a battery for it. It sort of fits. It's sort of a little too big. Um, but it'll be alright for testing purposes only. I probably need to shorten that plug wire, but for now, it'll be fine. So, solenoid's all done. Um... Put the key on there. Um, voltmeter says 11.1. It's probably right. That battery's been sitting around a little bit. Um, PTO. Yep. We have throttle. Oh, we don't have throttle. I never did free this cable up today. We have choke, though. But uh, that ended up taking an extra hour or so. Um... What I had to do is take this shaft out of the carburetor and take this lever and grind it off, take it off, flip it 180 degrees, put it back on and weld it to get the choke correct because it cable comes up from the bottom. So we have choke. Now I'll move the lever. It works great. Um, the linkage is hooked up from the governor, but again, no uh, throttle cable. This connector out here is for the front PTO. Just need to plug that in. It'll be easier through the grill than it is through that quarter inch slot right there. The connector's right there. Um, I did just fire it up. Um, it ran a little bit for the gas that was in the carburetor anyway. So, um, I guess we'll end this video here. What's next? Well, a couple things. We gotta make this thing that'll roll. Um, again, we talked about tires a little earlier, but the, this tire is shot. Um, these are placed, the tires here that I ordered, but the tubes for them aren't here yet. Um, the left rear's going flat, um, but it does hold air for a little while. Um, so got a different plan for that. I do want to pull this tub off. It's not even attached, just sitting there all crooked. Not only does it need straightened, and I've got to figure out what the uh, what the leak is in the hydraulics because it was just running out steady stream while it was running, which is probably not a bad thing because it got the water out of it. Hopefully the water hasn't done uh, any damage in there. So anyway, um, project sort of complete. The idea is to be able to get on this thing start it up and drive it, move it, keep it out of my way. Um, that's the goal. And uh, we're a long ways closer to that than we ever were, so I appreciate you guys hanging with me today. Happy New Year's, uh, January 1st, 2019. Yep, it's going to be uh, quite a few mistakes tomorrow. People writing their name and signing the date. One year too late. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, hitting the like button because that really will help my channel. And we really need that help. We're sort of slipping. We're not getting any headway here. and That's not good. So I've got too much effort going into this thing to go the other direction. So all full uh, speed ahead. Um, please hit the like button. Share it with a friend. And we'll catch you on the next video.